Hey, it's Aaron, and we will be going through the solution for the frame jigsaw. This puzzle is a level 8 on the Puzzle Master scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. The main goal of this puzzle is to fit all of the pieces inside this very shiny frame. So we can see that we have an opening just big enough to fit four pieces into it but some of them are actually protruding past this frame and it's a very narrow tight frame to the pieces themselves which makes for a very interesting puzzle. So you're gonna see me move this off camera a lot and that's just so I can slap the pieces out of the frame. Uh, there's not really any other way to kind of get them out. They're very nice and clean to each other very form-fitting so uh, yeah to start with I'll just be turning it upside down and slapping out this piece to disassemble it and this is the uh, this is what it looks like right out of the box I'm assuming you probably played with it and removed a good majority if not all these pieces These two pieces came out. I'll uh, just disassemble it. I will actually show you how to get this back to how it was before once we solve it. So there's no worries on trying to replicate backwards what I'm doing here to get it back to the manufacturer's look. But first we'll kind of go through all the pieces here. And we end up having 10 of these corner pieces. And I'm just stacking them for convenience purposes. And we have a split of our different colors. Even split. Then we have these straight pieces. And we have four of those and two of each color. Now these are the real outliers here. Uh, all the pieces so far have had just two grooves, one nub sticking out and one insert. And same with these pieces, one nub, one insert. These two pieces have none of that. One nub, one insert for both of these. So that kind of cues us in that these are both end pieces. Also this piece that I'm rotating here is the only one that actually has two colors to it. Now because this frame is such an inconvenience we will actually assemble our puzzle flat first and then we will start assembling it into the frame just makes life a lot easier. So to start with, we start with our bottom piece. So this will be how we do half of our jigsaw on here. Then we'll do two squares. So there is a way we do want these squares to be seated. These nubs could be going the other way, but we want them to be fate. Uh, the way I remember it is these two corner pieces the protruding nubs are facing each other, facing the center. So now that we have the solution figured, we can put it into our frame. So I'm just going to take these two pieces here, slide them in, and I'm going to take 
these three pieces here and also drop them in the frame. I also apologize for the camera, this is quite an active puzzle and it's going to unfocus and focus as we're going. Hopefully it's watchable. So I'll just slide this back down and it will go way past where I want it to. And then we'll place this piece right here and slide it back. And these will be our last two pieces. So now we're just going to focus on our two squares here. So caught up with the camera shifting that I wasn't paying attention. We don't quite want to start with that. We want to start with these two, drop them in. We will go down with them, making enough space for us to put our next piece in. And we'll slide them over and up. And we're done with that for now. And we'll just leave this piece here to remind us that we still need to do that. So now we have, with this groove here, we actually have enough room to fit another piece in. So that's what we'll do. Scratch that. I'm going to slide this over first. And we'll place this piece in. So now before we put this piece in, we are going to slide our top down, drop that in, drop that piece in, and we can slide this square over, and we're pretty much at the finish line. Now this is where it gets tricky. This piece actually has enough clearance to kind of drop in and slide, even though it really doesn't look like it should. And we just guide it in making sure it doesn't line up into our slot and get stuck. Slide it down. And our last piece. So we need to disassemble it now because nobody really wants a finished puzzle. Or at least it's not fun if your friends come over and they already see the solution. I mean, it's kind of nice to have it at its beginning set up. So we'll shake everything and <laughs> remove one of these pieces. We will pull this back out. And just using the nub as a little handle, we will just slide it up and out. It's not too difficult and the camera will blur out. We'll slide our square back and we'll remove this piece again. We'll slide this piece. We'll remove that one. And we'll tap that one out. From here we should be relatively easy to remove all of our pieces. Okay, we're back to square one, and we're just going to reset the puzzle now. So like before, it's just easier to build our pieces outside of the frame and... So I start to build it 
with these two pieces like that. And then from there we just build out. Okay, so that's the configuration we're going to go with. And then we have, of course, our one loose piece to taunt the person. And we'll just put that to the side, it's not necessary. It'll stay loose. Now the one thing I want to talk about is the square. It actually does matter which way these nubs are going again. And we just want these to be pointing towards each other, kind of like how I explained it earlier on the other side. Heavy puzzle, lots of stuff to remember. Okay, so our top piece is like that, and we don't have to worry about it ever again. Just kidding. We will place this in. These two pieces like this. And then we will load that in like so. So now that we have these two in, we can actually slide these back and forth very easily. And we will just keep this in the corner. We want to start building our square over here. So we can start by just slipping these two pieces in easy enough and we'll just snug the two nubs together, like so, giving us space to place everything everywhere. This piece into its proper slot. And then we can slide it over and down. Place that down in there. And then we can continue building. Slide that up, but not too far. We don't want to interlock it quite yet. Actually, I'm going to take this piece out and I'm going to put this one in. And then our final piece. So now we're back to the way you got it from the factory with our one piece out and the puzzle to be learned. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube page. Haven't had enough? Join the community on Facebook. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.